What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is about Cyberpunk because its newest update just brought us FSR frame generation. <sighs> I'm not a fan of frame generation. It tends to hurt my head, but we're gonna give it a shot anyway. Now, because Cache OS's Proton updated today, we're gonna be using that in hopes that uh, it ends up fixing the fact that DLSS was not working. So, wish me the best luck possible and i will see you in game all right so we're in game <clears throat> and if we go here into graphics you'll notice that we have this on and this on just doing this for the hell of it it doesn't actually need to be on but it just gives us the best performance possible and the least amount of resistance now we have everything on ultra i turned all this crap off because it doesn't need to be on let's turn that to 90. And everything else is just completely maxed out, okay? Simple as that. So we're going to hit continue and load up the game. Alright, so here we are. Uh, I don't know why my controller became unplugged, but it did. Weird. <clears throat> so you can see we're getting about 157 FPS uh, with frame gen on. Which means we're getting plenty of FPS nonetheless, so... Let's take a ride. Hey, listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. Ooh, that the FPS drop. Cyber attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but yeah. this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe Weird, huh? unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. Where do our FPS go? It's like it just died off for some reason. It's a bit weird. Let's turn this off and on. See if that fixes it. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute. Maybe it's her that's causing the problem. The attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Yeah, it's all clear. <laughs> So she caused the problem, which is annoying, but fine. So far, we have one bug. Come on, up the stairs, up the stairs. All right. Let's travel through this way. This way is usually really busy. That's why we're doing that. Let's put away our weapon. How do we do that? No. Code zero. I repeat code zero in this area. All Not units bad. It's hurting my head a little bit. And it definitely doesn't feel good, but I mean, for most other people, it's probably going to look freaking great. There. Let's turn that all the way up. Make sure we can get the best FPS possible. I don't know. And as I said, oh, we have it. Turn that on. No. Yeah, it won't let us have DLSS with uh, frame generation still, though. But I'm glad that this is fixed. So let's turn this on. Along with ray reconstruction, let's see what this does. Oh, yeah? What? 
All right, well, she's dead. We're not doing too bad with the LSS. Let's grab those components. I think I broke this. Did I? I don't know. Anyway, we're going to jump on this again. And it's sad that they didn't use FSR 3.1, which is annoying. But we're here for frame generation, so we're going to turn that on. And jump back to this, okay? Immediately, you can tell the downgrade. If this was FSR 3.1, it wouldn't look like this. It would look a lot better. Uh, interesting. Hey, Judy, what's up? Oh, hey. there goes the FPS again. Can you come over, Stat? Something happened? Yeah. Just come. Ugh. All right, look at that. You see this right here in front of me? Uh... This booth right here. Look at the fizzling. Look at it. This isn't that good. This is definitely a lot worse. Watch this. I'd rather play like this than use frame generation. Because at least this looks good. Where the frame generation looked horrible and so did the FSR. Oh. Frame generation starting to get to me. Uh, let's try video. Can we put on low latency? We can. Now, while it's a good attempt by the uh, cyberpunk developers, and I appreciate it, and I guess people who have Steam Decks are going to appreciate it too, it's just not good enough. It's just not. You need to implement FSR 3.1 which will decouple FSR from frame generation so we can have DLSS and frame generation and then you guys get to have FSR 3.1 and frame generation which will not only look better, run better, everything because it just, it, it doesn't work it really doesn't do what's better for the consumer instead of what's easier on you because look, you're still trying to sell these games admit it You've announced a sequel, you announced The Witcher 4, and get the technology implemented and over with now to better yourself in the future or when it's needed in the new games. You have every bit of AI technology you need from DLSS. You sit with FSR 3.1, yes, that is a thing, and give her your best. Because this is crisp, this is clean looking. FSR is gnarly looking. It does not look good at all. Now, one last test. I'm going to turn on path tracing. Oh. And I'm going to turn on path tracing. With the LSS, because... Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, let me try to set this to auto. It already is. You know, boost data loading, crowding, and activity expensive. Crowd blah, 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 extra scenes. Blah, blah. Off? I don't know. No difference. Look at that fence. Freaky. Not bad, but yeah, even sometimes DLSS makes the mark, but want to see something really horrible? Graphics. Yeah. Anyway, any questions? Leave it in the comments below. Even at its worst, DLSS is still better. 
I hate the fact we have to use AI technology to be able to actually play games these days. Come on. Anyway, uh, this was on Linux. This was done on Arch Linux. And, um, yeah. I hope you guys have a nice day, nice whatever else, and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Come on, FSR 3.1, it's not asking much. It's really not.